Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, and today we're going to check out the Bed of Nails. It's a pretty darn cool camp item, and I'll try to cover how you can go about getting your hands on it a little bit later. But first, I really need to focus on some of the weirdness going on with this bed. Now the first thing that really stood out once I got to build one was what happens when you sleep in the bed or rest in it. So... I don't think they really thought through laying on a bed of nails because it's just the standard animation like every other bed which gets slightly more awkward when you go into photo mode and inspect it closer because you're not even laying on the nails you're you're floating above it now if you do have an oversized outfit then you may make contact with the nails so that was the first thing that caught my attention. Then I went in and I was like, wait a minute. This is the exact same bed frame as the Atomic Shop beds. Which means that bed of nails is a child's bed because it's not a full size bed. So uh, kind of made me wonder if maybe at some point they had planned to make that an Atomic Shop item and then decided to give it away instead. Which I approve that decision, but I would have much rather got a full-size bed that that mattress would have fit on instead of yet another small bed. Come on, Bethesda. Give us more full-sized beds, guys. Now, I did play around with it a little bit, and if you put two of them side by side and you're willing to fight with it a little bit, you can actually set like a couple sleeping bags side by side, and they both work. So, you and your significant other could share a bed. Of course, there's other ways to go around doing that that'll look way better than this. But I did notice while fiddling around with that, that when you place an item on the bed, it doesn't actually sit on top of the nails. It sits all the way on the wood. And you can place the item way off the edge of it, which may end up being extremely useful as a building trick down the road. Only time will tell. So now let's get into how you go about getting the plan if you don't already have it. This is from the second run of the Treasure Hunter event, so hopefully if you missed it, maybe it shows up in the next Treasure Hunter event. If not, you're gonna have to be checking player vendors because they've got them, and they're probably gonna be charging a fair amount, likely 10k plus for them. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later!